Epilogue, delivered on the occasion of closing the Oldham Exhibition, January the 5th, 1884. Now does the engine end its busy run, break out its fires and say its work is done. No more its throbbing scarcely heard or felt, shall send pulsations through catch cord and belt. But like a giant whose journey's at its close, lays down its limbs and seeks well-earned repose, no more will listen to the throstle's song, not the wild notes we hear when days are long, but more like hum a bee when at its toil, I think my muse requires a little oil. No more will watch the steady pace of mule, not the queer animal from Balham's school, but from that stood as vitalised by what, and given shape and motion by a plat. No more will see Niagara from a pump, nor feel old times renewed in double bump. No more the rattle of the busy loom shall ears assail as twere the tongue of doom. No more will watch with wondering regards grow line by line the sharp and bristling cards. I do not mean those square and painted things on which we see quaint forms of queens and kings, with which sometimes we're skinned to the last rap by joining in a friendly game at nap, but cars to comb with as we comb out hair, not as our wives do with a stool or chair. No more we'll see how without wheels or cranks they weave a worsted covering for our shanks, nor feel as if some danger near might lurk by seeing the devil print us at his work. No more we'll see the masher at the bar, ordering his B and S and a cigar, whilst Abe with Sky Terrier fringe or bang smiles as she listens to his pretty slang. Gone are the visions, or shall soon depart, of those creations struck from the mould of art, the painted canvas or the sculptured form, the peaceful landscape and old ocean storm. To things that touch the soul and charm the eye, we now must bid a lingering good-bye. No, not to all, thanks to the rough-head's pluck, the envious might say twas only luck. Some things of beauty will remain to be, a joy for I, a life's eternity. Who would have thought the time would ever come when art in Oldham would have found a home? Yet here she is, well housed and clothed and fed, to industry allied, to science wed. But now for words I'm getting sorely pressed, so meet it be, the mare will do the rest. <laughs>